Hi everyone, in this course we are going to learn about cyber trolls detection. So what is cyber trolls? So cyber trolls is a process of detecting if a social content like it could be a content from a Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, any other blog sites that contains trolling characteristics like it could be a threatening content, abusing content, offensive content or indecent content, right? So a troll is nothing but a person, right, uh, who who creates those uh, abusive or indecent content on the internet. Because <clears throat> most of the social sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, those are public sites, right? Anybody can post any comment. And countries like United States of America has a freedom of speech. That means anybody can say anything that they like, but sometimes they don't realize that can have <clears throat> adverse impact on people. <clears throat> a troll like is a person who initiates those kind of offensive content. It could, it, they could operate from anywhere in the world because they all they need is just a computer, mobile or a laptop or a iPad and just internet connection and they could uh, go to the sites like Facebook, Twitter, blog, YouTube and post such content. Example of <clears throat> such content of uh, examples examples of such cyber trolls are back in the uh, June 1999 there was a company called Pair Game. It was in the telecom industry and one of the employee of that company uh, created a fake news saying that the fake news, uh, fake, saying that the pair game company has been acquired by a big company so that so, so as to artificially boost the stock price and it did happen the stock uh, once the news was out uh, although it was a fake news the stock price was artificially boosted for a day and uh, a lot of people used that advantage to sell their stocks and the stock price was down the next day so it's like creating a fraud in the stock uh, uh, stock market and that employee was arrested and he pleaded guilty to the fraud in stock manipulation. So uh, creating a false news uh, uh, in, the, in the public sites is also an example of cyber trolling, right? Unnecessarily inflating the, the stock price of the company. Another case, a famous case was uh, the Mr. Ziran versus AOL. This case was created in, in I think, 1995. This was right after the Oklahoma City bombing. Uh, many people have uh, uh, created uh, really bad posts on the internet, uh, uh, which are which was adversely impacting the sentiments of the people who have been impacted by the Oklahoma. I mean, there were. Uh, Social messages like uh, Oklahoma is a city where baby goes to <coughs> sleep finally quietly at night, uh, which was basically referring to uh, the bombing in the OL. And anybody who wants to uh, uh, basically use, uh, they posted basically the information of Zeran, Mr. Zeran's telephone number and contact, and saying that he is any any information on those. Uh, uh, on that news, you can contact Mr. Zeran. Mr. Zeran was being overwhelmed with a lot of uh, such uh, messages of angry people because they were thinking that Mr. Zeran was at the source of this news. And Mr. Zeran filed a case ultimately in the course. Uh, and that's where the law was published that the publication itself doesn't own anything that people uh, comment on their websites. So as you can see, it is really impacting the people in a negative way, especially teenagers and all are getting impacted severely uh, because of cyber trolling. Here are a few more examples. On the left, you see an example of a person who's really accusing a person of being a psychopath. But you see a good thing that you see is a reply saying that if you see such a troll, just don't respond to it. That's the best response. On the right, you see a person accusing Target. 
and you see how target has responded rightly to that cyber trolling <coughs> these replies are fine but it cannot operate on a scale because the amount of people and the amount of content uh, that happens with the cyber trolling it is not possible to respond to every such tweet manually by some person so that's where machine learning comes to rescue basically in, in this example what we are going to do is we are going to develop a cyber trolls classifier so basically what it means is if you feed a social we are going to first train a machine learning model which can then understand when you when you feed any message from social network to that particular classifier it can tell you whether the message is cyber troll or it's a message a genuine message right and it can operate at scale right so once that algorithm is developed you can use it uh, on any social platform right and the way the way it can be used is let's say wherever somebody is posting a message on the social network uh, usually it goes through moderation process right before it gets published so that moderation process can run this uh, uh, machine learning model and if it detects that it contains cyber trolling characteristics it it can stop from publishing it to the social network thereby people won't see it at all on the social network and this can operate at scale right it can because it's a program that is run by a machine and it can operate on millions of messages in a very short amount of time <clears throat> so just to give you a demo i have created a website in python so that looks something like this uh, where you can post any text to this uh, particular uh, website and the website will tell you whether the message is uh, cyber tone or not so let's take a few examples so here is the first example it's a very bad message like it's a threatening message so let's see our program classifies it properly so i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to say get the category so one means yes it is a cyber troll so we need to stop these matches from getting published zero means it's not a cyber troll so clearly it's a cyber troll message let's take another example where again this is a cyber troll because it is really abusing a person so let's try pasting it and let's ask our program to get the category as you can see, uh, it says it's a cyber troll message. So let's also try pressing, uh, sending a general message, genuine message. Actually, this message is uh, a positive message, really. So it talks about how to change our attitude and all, and how should we explore ourselves. So let's say what our classifier says. So classifier correctly says that it's not a cyber troll message. So this website is just an example of how you can use a cyber troll classifier. Now behind the scenes, you can use the exact same technique to operate the same technique on a thousands and thousands of messages. So instead of pasting the message in the website, you can just read it from the CSV file or even use directly from Twitter using Twitter API and classify things at bulk. And that's exactly what we're going to learn this particular course so here's the course outline we have first learned the uh, uh, here are the steps for building a troll classifier uh, we are we are going to learn the word embedding which is a technique for converting word into numeric vectors uh, we will use convolution uh, for text especially convolution neural networks and in this particular case, we are use, going to use a one-dimensional convolutional neural networks. Then we will build a deep learning model using convolutional network for classifying the trolls into uh, two categories, whether it's a troll or not a troll. So it's a binary classification problem that we want to solve. Uh, and we will use the interactive Jupyter notebook to uh, go through the st uh, all the code step by step. And at each step, we will evaluate input and output and I will explain you how things work. Uh, then we will build a Python Flask web application that the demo that we saw. We will build it step by step and I will explain you how to build the app. And then I will give you a challenge exercise to build a bulk classifier that you can just read it from a CSV file and just operate it on millions of millions of messages at the same time. 
solve, uh, stay tuned.